Happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. I'm a little hungover this Friday. It's one of those hangovers where I'm just like, should I stick a straw into the Brita? Like, I woke up in the middle of the night, I was out of water, and I was so lazy to even walk 10 feet to my fridge. That's how close it is. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Brooke. This is gonna be a weekend in my life in NYC. It's gonna be like a kind of a fun one though because we are doing a few little apartment changes, I guess. I think that's exciting. I'm gonna see some friends, which is always good to socialize. Yeah, it's just gonna be a good time. So welcome. Let's make a coffee. That's how we start the day. I actually do have quite a bit of uh, work that I have to get done today. I'm a big fan of like enjoying my weekends, of course, but today is a Friday and I wanna make sure that I get a good amount of stuff done before the weekend. everybody have a good day while we're here getting a little bit of a slower start to the morning i thought that i would talk about the sponsor of today's video because it's actually very practical to what we are going to be doing today and over the course of the weekend brooklyn and same name <laughs> whenever something whenever like a brand has my name in it i like geek out a little bit does anybody else do this or if it's like a restaurant or something i know that's like so childish but Actually, Brooklinen is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you so much for sponsoring. I could not be more excited. I got a pack of Brooklinen towels for Christmas or for like the holidays, I guess. And it was one of my favorite gifts. That's how you know I'm an adult now. I got like the bundle of towels and they are the most high quality towels. And I have the bath mat. I use the uh, like washcloths, everything. The quality of Brooklinen is insane and I've always wanted to try their bedding. Today we are. The quality of Brooklinen's products is just absolutely insane because they partner with like top manufacturing facilities because it's all like luxury products, which we love a luxury moment. You deserve it. I'm such a big fan of investing in your bed, investing in like your mattress, your comforter, all that stuff. So obviously invest in your sheets too. Fun fact, you spend a third of your life in your bed. That's kind of crazy when we really think about it. Like what? So you want it to be enjoyable. I mean, I know I want mine to be enjoyable. I love that Brooklinen offers this luxury product at an affordable price. So I'll show you guys what I got. I'm so excited. The packaging is just so great. I know that they have bundles too so you can mix and match like your sheets or duvet like all of this sort of stuff and they also like on their website kind of indicate like colors and patterns that go together i'm really boring and i got all white which is what i have on my bed right now i know you guys are gonna be like we, we get it bro but i do have like a pop of color in my bedroom so this is fine for me also i'm a really big fan of white bedding because you can wash it in the washing machine with like a little bit of bleach and it gets all the, the like gook out you know if you have like self-tan or if anything like gets on it so this is what i got i got the luxe to they cover i got everything in luxe because i'm a luxury gal we got luxe pillowcases i was really tempted they had one that was like white and gray stripes and white and gray kind of like geometric patterns i was really about to do it you guys and i was like no brooke like you're gonna stick with white because i'm boring then i got the core sheet set this includes a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. For the best sleep of your life. I didn't even like say everything that Brooklyn has to offer. Also, I didn't know that they're Brooklyn based. So New York represent. They have all sorts of just luxury products. So like I said, I've had the towels and stuff like that from them. But then they also have sheets, bed, bath, and loungewear, which we love. And the best part about all of this fun stuff is not only do I get to make my bed right now, but I have a deal for you guys. So click the link in the description box and use my code BrookMichio to save $20 on any purchase of $100 or more. Really exciting stuff let's get to putting it on the bed well actually i'm gonna wash it all first let's wash it first okay a part of me just felt bad for sticking these in the wash but literally in the back here it says some believe in love at first sight we prefer love at first wash more washes more softness this is insane i actually have kind of noticed that with my um other linens that i have from them that just proved it gonna go work out while my sheets are still washing and everything this is from nordstrom rack a little pullover we got the little lemon leggings and my ultra boost charging my airpods i wanted to show you guys also this is the new book i don't really like do a book club or anything but i show you guys like what i'm reading and i just ordered this book um how to lead because i finished atomic habits finally so i'm going to read this if you guys want to like quote like read along with me it's pretty dense it seems like it's gonna be really interesting basically he interviewed a bunch of awesome people everyone from like oprah richard branson you know just really really cool people i think it's gonna be really interesting so excited My bedding feels so soft and luxurious. I'm so excited to sleep in this tonight. 
fresh sheets is just the best. We'll have Brooklyn and link down below. I'm going to make up the rest of my bed. I'm ready because I'm heading to dinner in about 30 minutes with some friends, which I'm excited about. It's Friday night, so excited to socialize. Well, now I just have to put the pillows on because I just did the duvet and the sheets and the pillows, so let's put it all together. I'm biased, but I think it looks great. Big fan. I could just tell how premium this stuff is. Good morning, next day. We're gonna have a lovely day today. I woke up like really late today, guys. This is like the most I've slept in in like a really long time. I am actually going to head over to Soho in a little bit. I'm meeting some friends for coffee that I haven't seen in a really, really long time. And I have to make a return at Zara. So, I, I mean, this is a Whole Foods bag, but I put my Zara stuff in there. It's gonna be so busy the weekend, I just know. I think I have a little bit of iced coffee left. I also wanna go to Trader Joe's, I think, afterwards. Also, yes, this video is sponsored, but my sleeping experience last night, I can't even put it into words. The feeling of the sheets, like I've never slept with sheets that feel like that before. It was just so comfortable. I didn't even know that linens could upgrade your experience that much. It did, let me tell you. All right guys, so as promised, we have a Trader Joe's haul in this vlog. I was out all day. I went to Soho and I got coffee with some friends at Felix Roasting Co. Highly suggest checking it out. It's a really cute place. They have great outdoor seating too. Definitely check that out. And then I just like wandered around Soho. I was gonna make my Zara return, but the line was so, so long. So I still have that but let's get this haul out of the way because I have a lot of perishable stuff that I want to put away. I got myself some flowers. Oh, also, sorry, I'm all over the place. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in probably a month, maybe a little bit longer. So I did a huge, huge stock up. I spent like over hundred dollars, which I know is a lot, but I haven't been and I've been eating out a ton and that has been really adding up. Not even just at eating out, like ordering in. That's like $25, $20 every single time. I just couldn't do that anymore. So first up, I got myself some flowers. They didn't have a huge selection. Like I was kind of picked through spring blend. This is in no particular order. Chicken cilantro mini wontons, really good. Light cheese. Um, I need to get some kind of wrap actually because I didn't get a wrap in there, but to make like little quesadillas or you could do like a grilled cheese or whatever with this cheese, with any cheese, but I thought that sounded yum. I got some broccoli and cauliflower. I really need to up my vegetable intake and I got some dips that I could use with that. Carbs, and I'm so excited about these. These go in the freezer. They're mini French baguettes. You could just like take one out at a time. That's what I need. Living alone, I've realized that when I get too many produce type items, they go bad. So I try to get a lot of frozen stuff and including like, I love carbs, so. Turkey jerky, this is a really good snack. Just something to have on hand when I'm craving savory. Chicken and vegetable wonton soup. Something really just called me to soup today. I was like in a soup mood, so I got that. I did get hard boiled eggs, you guys know. I get regular eggs too, but in the heart, I get them in hard boiled form too. Roast me. I got some Asian vegetables. I've gotten this before. I actually don't like the sauce that it comes with. I prefer just to do my own, but I love this vegetable combo, like 10 out of 10. I got some salads. It's only Saturday, but for the week ahead, like Monday, Tuesday, maybe because these stay good for a few days i got the mediterranean salad kit and the southwest chopped salad kit good lunch put a little veggie burger on it or i got some other like a fun burger option i'll show you i've been like really not getting a lot of protein in so i got these lentils i think these with the salad could be really good i really do like lentils like i, I didn't get the ingredients to make a lentil soup or anything but i thought that would be good i got some turkey breast maybe to make like sandwiches or just to eat plain honestly is that weird some baby bell cheeses i wanted to try these salmon burgers i love salmon but i just um, think that in burger form it's nice and easy and for an individual person it stays in the freezer which we like Japanese style fried rice this is the best fried rice from Trader Joe's in my opinion they have other ones that are like chicken and veggie this one is so good oh my god put an egg in it so good some light mac and cheese for when I'm feeling lazy which is a lot of the time we know more bread the sourdough is my favorite the San Francisco recently. I also do like the Tuscan pan. If you don't know Trader Joe's, none of this will even make any sense to you. You're probably like, what language is this girl speaking? Frozen edamame. This is also a really good way to get in protein. I did get some regular eggs, like I said. More veggie burgers. The Dr. Prager's California. Bean and rice burritos. I go through those really quick. I had to try this for you guys. The vegan tzatziki dip. A lot of you guys told me to try it, so that's why I got the vegetables to dip it in and like some chips or something. 
roasted garlic hummus for veggies and stuff too. I also had a craving for these, the mini chicken tacos. They're so good. I might make these for dinner. Why not? I have so much fresh stuff, but I'm gonna make the frozen stuff. Logical. My favorite snack, mandarins, clementines, whatever you wanna call them. I think they're different. I think mandarins and clementines are different, but um, I snack on those all day long. And then I got some fresh cut pineapple. Big snacking gal. Don't ask me why. I have plenty of pickles in my fridge, but I was craving the cornicons. Like they're like mini baby pickles. Great on a charcuterie board. Cold brew. This is the one that I drink from Trader Joe's that I really like. Just put some almond milk in it. This is why my bags were so heavy. So a lot of like heavy stuff. Last but not least, some bananas. These are so good. The baked cheese crunchies. I am still doing WW for those of you wondering. I just track everything in the app and that's what I do and I work out. That's my life. So I don't know if I'm necessarily like going to keep on like losing a ton of weight because like I think I'm uh, the past few weeks I've been kind of the same weight so it's not really about that it's more so just like the wellness lifestyle that I'm in now obviously there's a good bit of stuff here that's processed it's not really like entirely clean and whatever but it's more so just like mindfulness you know and then air popped popcorn I'm exhausted not from that but just from like I was walking around all day and then like the heavy bags no first world problems but let's put all of this away we have that huge pile and then all here like wow <gasps> A lot of stuff. That's what $100 gets you at Trader Joe's. An update, because I've been having the dip. It tastes like regular dip. <laughs> it tastes like regular uh, tzatziki. I don't even know what's in it. Oh, dairy-free cream cheese alternative. I've been eating it with some broccoli and cauliflower, and it's really good. Back in the same sweatsuit, I'm about to take off all my makeup. I took off most of it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go meet a friend, but I'm not, because I'm exhausted. This was a lot of social for me in a weekend, <laughs> and it's only Saturday. I'm gonna use Bioderma to take it off. It's early, man. It's not even nine. Well, I've been going. Like, I've just, I, this would have been my third day drinking in a row. I don't really like to do more than two. I, I just don't drink that much in, at all. So, like, why if I don't have to? So I'm gonna take off my makeup and head to bed. And then uh, have a nice Sunday. We have a good Sunday ahead of us. I don't really have too many plans, so we'll see what we get up to. Now that I have a fridge full of groceries, I feel so much better though. Like I said, I've been ordering out so much, so it feels really good to just be like, oh my gosh, if I want a snack, I have snacks. Like, <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Sunday, guys. My hair was just kind of crunchy this morning from the amount of dry shampoo over the past few days, so I washed it and let it go natural. I actually am about to go work out. It's the afternoon now. I made some thumbnails for this video, the video that's going up Tuesday. Just tried to get a little bit ahead for the week. I did some links and just overall computer stuff that needed to be kind of caught up on. Like, I try to, you know, give myself off on the weekends, but it's not like if I'm opening my computer, I'm happy to do work. It's not really like that. Especially there's a difference between like different types of work. You know, like that stuff to me is just, I do it. It's not like, oh, now I have to sit down and work. But today is going to be an amazing day. I don't really have too many plans except for at 6 p.m. I'm doing a clubhouse with my friend or my internet friend, I should say. We've never actually like spoken We've DM'd back and forth, but we've never like talked. So I'm excited with my friend Coffee Bay 97 She's a TikToker and we're gonna do a clubhouse, which it's already happened, unfortunately, if you're seeing this now. We're gonna do a room, uh, so you should follow me on Clubhouse or on Instagram or something to be notified when I do stuff like that. We're gonna do a live chat about her social media story and like starting her page and tips for growing on TikTok and just her life in general, which I think will be interesting because she posts now, but she really only started her account like a year ago. So I think it's so interesting to hear like the story leading up to that and what inspired her to start. Just have a fun convo with it. I kind of want to start hosting like weekly sort of clubhouse rooms like that with people that you might follow on social media or people that I look up to in the business world and things like that. I feel like that will be an efficient use of my talent. I don't know if that's what you want to call it, but I've always enjoyed having conversations with people like that. And I want to work on my interview skills. So I feel like that's a good way to get to work, right? I'm wearing my green Align leggings. We're just gonna do treadmill. I'm actually gonna try to do some abs today. Usually I just look up like a YouTube video and do abs or I pay for like the Equinox membership because my bike's at home. So I'll probably do something like that and do like a 10 to 20 minute ab circuit on top of just some cardio. So not the wild. And I do wanna sit outside. Hopefully, I know my roof is open, but the furniture is still covered, but I don't really mind. I'll sit out there just to get some sunshine, even if it's like with a sweatshirt on. Cause it still is gonna be like 60. It's not like super, super warm, but just to get some nice outdoor air but let's go work out. All right, I totally didn't film that, but we're back. And then I just did a little ab circuit up here. Really, I don't know what I'm doing, so. I hate it. I really, honestly, I enjoy doing cardio because I can listen to music, my podcast. For some reason, like strength training and that sort of, like it's just, I've always hated it, so. I don't know. I remembered that I have a full fridge and I got very excited, but I am going to shower and then let's eat some lunch. Now I'm listening to Justin Bieber's new album. 
and I'm getting out all my materials for lunch. I'm really just making mini chicken tacos. I'm excited. I haven't had these in a while and I was craving them. I have some sour cream to eat with them, but in the meanwhile is my little app. I do like, I eat snack while I'm like cooking and I keep that stuff. I'm finishing the broccoli and cauliflower. I already finished the dip from yesterday. It was so good. I'm eating it with the hummus. For some reason, I've been way more into like broccoli, cauliflower, that sort of thing. Like I'm not into baby carrots right now. I feel like they're also like really good snack option, but I've been really into this combo. It's so nice that they're already like pre-cut and whatever, but yum. Tell me these don't look amazing. Doing a little side of sour cream that I could dip in. Incredible. I'm so excited. I had these in the longest time, but they're just like little mini chicken tacos. Wow. Yeah. I woke up at like two in the morning. I'm like, oh my God, maybe I should post some TikTok. It's 825. I'm going to turn on this bedside light. We did that clubhouse with Vivian from Coffee Bay. It was so great. I have a bunch of laundry I have to do because I did my sheets this week. Well, I got those new sheets, which I have to say, I decided what they feel like. They feel like th you're sleeping in like a hotel bed. Oh my gosh, my hair is so out of control. Right now I'm picking out a workout outfit for the morning. I think I'm going to work out, not in the morning, but maybe around like 10 or 11. So I'm gonna set out my outfit now just so that I can wake up and put it right on, no excuses. I'm gonna try to get into bed early. It's only 8.30, so maybe not this early, but yes. I love being a grandma. There's something satisfying about having my life in a way where I am in bed before nine o'clock. I have my planner all ready for tomorrow. So thirsty. What shaped? ice cube tray should i get next do you think that they make like little like peace signs or something i feel like they probably do i'm gonna go on and look right now actually after my chat with um vivian coffee bay i really want to order some cool glassware to spend my coffee game slash my drink game in general because she's like ceo of cute glasses if you don't follow her you definitely should she's just at coffee bay 97 on everything hi guys next morning it is monday morning i'm gonna start another vlog so stay tuned for that Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Getting back to me and actually doing some things, which is exciting. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you guys are new here for more vlogs and New York City-based content. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you all super soon. Bye guys.